Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Faye, and as y'all can tell by the title, we are getting into this hair slate today. The hair that I'm wearing today is from Wow Angel, and real quick, this is a 13 by 6 buzz down middle part wig so i'm really excited about today's hair and if y'all want to know the deets and specs about this hair then you know i'm ready to spill so keep on watching we got a lot to chit chat about in today's video so let's jump right into it i actually did install this hair and did the review for y'all but i went back and i wasn't really feeling the install and we're gonna get into why that was the case so i am gonna be reinstalling this hair for the second time and that's what i'm gonna be showing y'all in today's video and i am also gonna be giving you guys a review throughout this video so please bear with me now let's get into the specs of this hair this hair is from wild angel and this is their 24 inches 13 by 6 hd lace frontal and it is also in the density 250 this ain't no six inches in the middle like a lot of these companies be advertising you're getting the full 13 by 6 y'all and can we get into the body of this unit 250 density do not play with it this unit is full from the root to the tip do y'all see how natural this hairline comes and plus the knots are super super small and it is true hd lace because a lot of these companies will send you wigs and slap hd lace on it but it really isn't and you can tell because of the frame on the end like you cannot mistake hd lace for any other lace y'all let's move on to customizing y'all already know i have to go ahead and bleach this wig i messed up bleaching this wig y'all i ain't even gonna lie i'm gonna tell y'all the mistake that i made so y'all don't make the same mistake too but i did over bleach this mouth and i'll show you guys later how i fixed that but i used a dyeing brush to apply the bleach onto the lace instead of maybe a butter knife do not do that y'all it is gonna bleed through the lace especially because the lace is so huge and it's so curved so go ahead find your butter knife do not use a dyeing brush y'all moving on to plucking i feel like i was really struggling with like making sure that both sides are symmetrical and a little trick that i think i learned is kind of like comparing in the mirror as opposed to like with my own eyes because it's so hard to tell and sometimes you end up plucking like one side more than the other but for this unit i was going for a really 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 natural hairline and as y'all can see you're gonna pluck a lot of hair now let's move on to popping this wig on our head i like easy life so i'm gonna go ahead and strain the hair on the mannequin and now i'm gonna tell y'all why i wasn't really feeling the first install now as you guys know this is hd lace and hd lace is thin and extremely see-through so you need you a good a ball cap like i'm talking about the perfect ball cap if you want this to actually melt and even with this install i had some little issues with the wig cap i just concluded that i didn't have the best ball cap but i'm gonna show y'all what the first install looked like and kind of what i felt like was the problem with the ball cap in general okay so this is what the first install was looking like and honestly it wasn't bad at all my thing was that i just felt it was really obvious where i sprayed the got to be spray i don't know why but this calf was just trying to sabotage me for some reason y'all and by the size it wasn't like trying to glue down or stay down so you can kind of see it lifting underneath the wig so i said let's do it all over again and fix all of that so let's get into it Okay, y'all already know the drill. We're starting off with the ball cap, and of course I sprayed it, let it dry or whatever. Now I'm putting some powder, but y'all see how I said the cap was trying to sabotage me? Cause why is it having all them weird layers even before I put the powder? And when I put the powder, it's even worse. So I don't know why it was moving like that, but honestly, I was just like over it at this point. So let's keep the ball rolling. I also went ahead to clean my forehead cause I didn't want any residues or oil messing up our install. Next, I added some powder so it's easier to blend in. And now we're gonna be going in with our got to be spray and guys i'm using a popsicle stick to smooth this down because sometimes when i use the got to be for my ball cap and then i use it for laying down the wig it sometimes make the ball cap lift so i'm trying not to make that happen right here So once I glue the lace down, I was still kind of seeing where the ball cap stops and starts just because of how weird the cap was being. So I went ahead to go in with some more got to be spray to try and fix that. And now we are moving on to gluing down the sides. Honestly, the sides gave me no problem. It was just the metal that just wasn't trying to act right for some reason. I also have a low hairline, which pretty much means that the sides tend to come down a little bit further than the middle. So I am going to be going in with the zigzag scissors just to cut up that excess lace in between so that it's more fitted to my hairline and also less detectable. And I'm using the zigzag scissors to do this because, yo, I cannot cut in a jagged motion to save my life. 
and now we're going in with some spreads to you know hide that lace and make it undetectable lace wear and now I'm gonna be going in with some mascara to fix the knots that I over bleached I also put my male band on so it can be working its magic you know while we fix up the roots or whatever I don't believe I told y'all how long it took for my wig to get to me but I placed my order on the 26th of January and it came on the 6th of February it was actually supposed to come on the 7th so it came a day earlier and it shipped through FedEx so I would say the shipping wasn't too too bad now we're gonna be going in with our iron to obviously curl them baby hairs and make it easier for us to swoop them and guys this is so much harder to do after the first insult because obviously like you've cut it short but I feel like just maybe adding a little pieces of hair like longer strands in there gives you a little bit more leverage when curling so yeah don't bring yourself add a little few pieces of hair and then you can like remove the hair after you curl it so yeah after that we're gonna go ahead and swoop them baby hairs and I'm just kind of like going ahead to trim it again to my liking and then after that we're gonna be going in with some powder just to make that part a little bit more defined so the insole is finally coming together as y'all see and if y'all have trusted the process and stayed this far hers out to you now let's move on to spraying some spritz on that to make it blend even further and I'm gonna be putting my mail band after that but I don't want to tell y'all about shedding and tangling because obviously that's major when I first got this wig I wasn't really getting a lot of shedding like a few strands here and there but obviously like all wig sheds so I am getting a little bit more shedding now but it's not like crazy crazy shedding off of me it's still kind of like okay not too bad shedding and then with tangling the wig wasn't really tangly at first but especially the back now I feel like that's where it tangles the most right now so back to the slate and guys I'm gonna leave all this product in my description box so don't y'all worry That fresh install and fresh face is just hidden different but let me go ahead and put on my makeup and come back and show y'all what the final look is giving all right guys so that brings us to the end of this video let me know what y'all think about this hair and if y'all are feeling it too but i'm definitely feeling this hair and i think it came out absolutely bomb and gorgeous especially on the second install use my coupon code queen vip to get money off your order and go cop this way y'all do you see how fly this is yeah if you guys enjoyed watching this video definitely like comment and subscribe and thank y'all so so much for watching love y'all and i'll see y'all next time